Aloha Airlines employees speak out to try and save their jobs after the company files for bankruptcy. Good evening, I'm Sean Ching. And I'm Paula Akana. A week after filing for bankruptcy, Aloha Airlines is talking to several other airlines about a buyout. Its employees are asking Hawaii lawmakers to help make a deal more attractive to investors. KITV's Kiyoki Kerr joins us live now from the state capitol with more. Kiyoki? Paula and Sean, sources tell us that United Airlines came very close to buying Aloha just a couple of weeks ago before Aloha filed for bankruptcy. But sources say United pulled out of the deal because it was concerned about high fuel costs that Aloha faces. So there are efforts underway tonight here at the state capitol to reduce fuel costs on Aloha and po possibly make it more attractive to potential investors. More than 1,000 Aloha Airlines employees and their families sought support from motorists outside the capital as well as lawmakers inside. Save Aloha! While their signs and outfits were colorful, they're concerned about what could be gray skies and turbulent times ahead for Aloha, which is bankrupt and for sale. Illinois Isaacs has been an accounting clerk in the finance department at Aloha for 18 years. She describes the situation now as... It's most uncomfortable, but the belief within oneself, you just have to put the positive energy forward. When you believe, things impossible will come true. The rally comes just a day after the first company went public with an offer to buy Aloha's lucrative cargo business. The owner of inter-island shipping company Young Brothers, Salt Chuck Resources of Seattle, put in an initial offer of $13 million for Aloha's cargo division, which reports annual profits of at least $6 million. Pilot Mike Uslan brought his two kids along for support, and he says he doesn't want to see portions of his employers sold off. We see Aloha Airlines as being much more valuable as a whole, not split up and broken apart and fragmented into pieces. Sources say other entities, including several airlines, are interested in buying all of Aloha, including the money-losing inter-island market. I have the good fortune to be flying home tonight to Maui on Aloha Airlines. Senate Ways and Means Chairwoman Roz Baker told the crowd that the Senate will hear a proposal Monday that will exempt Aloha and Hawaiian Airlines from paying the state's 4% excise tax on fuel. We know that we've always been able to count on Aloha. And so we want to make sure that you all know that you can count on us. And leaders of Aloha's four unions spent the day here at the state capitol going door to door, lining up support for that uh, fuel excise tax exemption among lawmakers and also trying to get support on a loan guarantee proposal that would give uh, state-backed uh, loan guarantees to any investor who would come in and uh, buy Aloha Airlines. The group also met for more than an hour with Governor Linda Lingle. Reporting live, Kiyoki Kerr, KITV4, Island Television News. Thanks, Kiyoki. Well, Molokai Ranch employees are coming together after being given two weeks' notice. Workers gathered at